Members of the Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come to order? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senator Baker, Senator Chun Oakland, Senator Dela Cruz, Senator English, Senator Espero, Senator Gabbard, Senator Galuteria. Excused. Senator Green, Senator Harimoto, Senator Ihara. Excused. Senator Inoue, Senator Kahele. Excused. Senator Keith Agaran, Senator Kidani, Senator Kim, Senator Nishihara, Senator Riviere, Senator Ruderman, Senator Shimabukuro, Senator Sloan, Senator Taniguchi, Senator Thielen, Senator Tokuda, excused, Senator Wakai, Mr. President. Present. 21 present, four excused. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The chair has read the journal of the preceding day and approves the same. Are there any introductions this morning? Senator Baker, let's go alphabetically here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, it's my pleasure to recognize the Youth Council of the Coalition for Tobacco-Free Hawaii for their amazing work to lead initiatives that help make the next generation tobacco-free. Uh, we have some of these wonderful folks in our audience. Uh, let me recognize the council first, and then I'll recognize um, uh, the staff that's accompanying them. Uh, for Oahu, we have Chase, and if you would rise to be recognized when I call your name, and colleagues, because there are a number of them, if we could hold our applause until uh, I finish calling them out. Uh, Chase Kessler from La Pietra School for Girls. Uh, and you can remain standing. Uh, Brianne Lynn Nagamini, UH Manoa from Kauai. Uh, Christian Lemming, uh, Case, um, I'm sorry, Castle High School here on Oahu. Uh, Karen Ham, UH Manoa. Kelsey Calabrese, also from UH Manoa. Uh, from Kona, Kona Waina, we have Cody Asuncion. From Hilo, we have Keiko Kurokawa. Kurohara, I'm sorry, from Waikia High. Uh, from Maui, we have Arisa Molina from Baldwin High School. From Molokai, we have Charnel uh, Kaili, Molokai High School. And from Kauai, we have Haoli Lopez from Kapa'a. Uh, accompanying them are friends of ours from the Hawaii Public Health Institute, Jessica Yamauchi and Trish Trisha uh, Lachi uh, Lachika and Courtney Voss. So if we could give all of these fine advocates a round of applause. <laughs> Colleagues, many of you know that they helped us with our efforts to raise the age to purchase tobacco products uh, from 18 to 21. And this year they're focusing on protecting our keiki from harmful secondhand smoke in vehicles. Uh, today is Kick Butts Day. And so I invite you to join our youth in the rotunda uh, after the session uh, to hear some of their um, successes, to look at the resources that they have, and they have a selfie station photo booth, so you can participate that in that. Uh, there'll be a short program at 12.30. Thank you, Mr. President and colleagues. Thank you. So I saw Senators Green, Harimoto, and Kim. So in that order, Senator Green. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, if I may do two introductions. Please proceed. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize Stephen Spears, who has been leading Kauai Habitat for Humanity since 2007. If you could stand. Got you here. We are waiting for him to get here. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll just but go on. thank you quick. for the introduction. Yes. He's, I just wanted to quickly say, um, they've built 117 affordable homes in Kauai. They're extraordinary folks, and the next two years are gonna be very busy as they're undertaking a huge uh, project, so we commend them. And also, if I might, um, George Massengill is here, uh, so I wanted to have George stand on behalf of Executive Director Pat Herney from West Hawaii Habitat for Humanity. Since 2002, they've been building uh, extraordinary affordable homes in the Kona side. They provide really shelter, and from my perspective, shelter um, provides mental health support 
and that's been a major problem for many people across the state. So I commend uh, George and Stephen and Pat. Uh, one of my favorite places in Kona is to go to the Kona Habitat Restore, really my mom, actually. She spends a lot of my hard-earned money buying uh, things from Habitat for Humanity, and we're grateful to support their cause and all the great work that they do. So thank you guys for joining us today. Senator Harimoto. Thank you, Mr. President. I guess I have the uh, other half of the script for Habitat for Humanities. Uh, with us in the audience uh, are other members from Habitat for Humanity. Since 1989, Hawaii's <coughs> Habitat affiliates have built more than 500 new homes in Hawaii and rehabilitated more than 150 existing homes. In 2015 alone, they completed 42 new affordable homes and the Maui Habitat completed the very first low-rise condominium for 16 families. And they did all this with volunteers and sweat equity labor. So um, with us in the gallery are Gary Passon, president of the State Association Board of Directors, uh, Jean Lilly of the State Association, and Stephen Spears of Maui, I guess not here yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. The others um, who are there, too, can also stand and be recognized. Thank you very much for all you do. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Kim. Thank you, Mr. President. I am very pleased to welcome to our chambers my former colleague, former council chair from the Honolulu City Council, John DeSoto, his wife, Patty, and John being a champion dirt bike rider, also my instructor on my uh, New Year card on teaching me how to bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, I have one more introduction. I'd like to introduce um, DeMont Connor. He's here with his wife, Rachel. And uh, he's, his mother used to come to the city council regularly, Ger Geronimo, and I know John will remember that too. And um, he's also here with his uh, Geronimo sister, I guess, Ina. And they're celebrating birthday for Harley. Um, <laughs> Harley Rose Flint, it's her ninth birthday. And uh, her sister is also here, Haley, to share in. So welcome and happy birthday. Haole lahanao. Thank you. Further introductions? Senator English. Uh, Mr. President, members of the Senate, good morning. To follow up on our um, introduction of Habitat um, for Humanity, I'd like to introduce the Maui. Um, I guess you'd call them Maui Habitats, right? Anyway, <laughs> uh, Habitat for hu Humanity Maui builds single family or multifamily housing for those in need. Uh, they do critical repairs, renovations, retrofits with uh, their A Brush with Kindness uh, program. This program assists families that are in need of critical repairs to help make their home safe again. Things like home re-roofing, uh, retrofits that include grab bars or ramps to accommodate a disabled or elderly resident are some of the many projects they participate in to support our Maui communities. I'd like to introduce um, Gary Parson. If Gary's here, he can stand. The script got uh, bifurcated, I think. Um, and also Sherry Dodson, uh, both the, uh, Gary is the Maui board president, Sherry is the executive director of Maui. Uh, they both have worked uh, diligently to build dozens of new and affordable homes on Maui. And their most recent projects was the completion of a 16 unit uh, low rise condominium in Kahawai Wailuku. They are now beginning on the first of 10 new homes in Kahoma and Lahaina, West Maui. Now, I'd also like to mention a program that they do, uh, that they do that I, uh, I use quite a bit. It's called the Maui Habitat Restore. And it's one of the hidden secrets of Maui. What this does is it carries everything from, well, you name it. Uh, we have a lot of hotels, a lot of construction projects, whatever is left over, would, uh, they would donate to the Habitat Restore. Much as Senator, Senator De, De La Cruz goes shopping at, um, Savers and Goodwill, I go shopping at uh, the Restore. And uh, you know, right now in the process of helping uh, an old man in Hana fix his home, and so I'm buying everything from, from uh, you know, from 
tiles to flooring uh, to grout to doors and all of these things from the, re, uh, the restore. So, you know, I want to commend uh, Habitat for Humanity Maui for all of their fine projects and especially for the restore. Thank you very much. Senator Sparrow. Thank you, Mr. President, colleagues and guests. I'd like to introduce to you today a wonderful group of students from the dynamic community of Eva Beach. Uh, they are here to learn about government and lawmaking and to see our beautiful facilities here. Sixth graders, the Voyagers from Holomua Elementary School, their teacher, Glenda Magno, chaperone Don Santiago, please rise. And will the bright students from Holomua, the Voyagers, please rise and be acknowledged. Welcome to the state capitol. Thank you. Do we have any further introductions? Senator Chen Oakland. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm not too sure if someone was to in introduce Jim Murphy, but I would like to have Honolulu Habitat um, Jim Murphy, <laughs> executive director, who is here. I've had the fortune of working with him and all the Habitat representatives, and they do such, such superb jobs. So thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Any further introductions? Senator Shimabukuro. Thank you, Mr. President and colleagues. The Outrigger Duke Kahanamoku Foundation's Hawaii Waterman Hall of Fame was established in August 2010 to honor those remarkable legends in our island's water sports community, whose contributions to water sports unite, inspire, and remind us of the unique opportunities our oceans provide to our people. We are honoring today the four 2015 inductees to the Hawaii Waterman Hall of Fame. These individuals are the finest aquatic athletes in the sports most closely associated with Duke Kahanamoku. Besides excelling in aquatic sports, these inductees are recognized as, in, as individuals who in their generation have also given back to their communities. Inductees, as you're introduced, please rise. Our first inductee, Dwayne DeSoto, please rise. Age, at the age of 37, the youngest inductee to the Hawaii Waterman Hall of Fame is founder and CEO of Nakama Kai, a nonprofit organization he founded in 2008 with his wife, Dr. Malia Ka'ai Hui, who is the traditional knowledge advisor of the organization. Born and raised in Makaha, Duane's desire to, was to enable Hawaii's most disadvantaged children to learn about all aspects of the ocean, from its importance to their ancestors, to safety, surfing, paddling, and how to correctly rig a canoe. His group teaches over 100 children a month, all free of charge, and all programs have been carefully designed by Duane himself to bring together ocean culture and lifestyle through innovative programs in a safe learning environment. Duane is winner of the 2010 ASP Pro Longboarding World title, and his knowledge of the ocean was tapped for the Malama Honua voyage of the Hokulea in 2012. Further, on 100th anniversary celebration of Duke Kahanamoku's visit and surfing at Freshwater Bay in Australia, Duane was chosen for the role of Duke in the recreation of the event. His efforts in the reenactment of Duke's boarding skills board writing skills were acclaimed to be exceptional. We have in the gallery with us today, um, and please stand when I call your name, Dwayne's mother, Kathy McKernan, his dad, Manny DeSoto, his wife, Dr. Malia Kaihue, children, Laura, Micah, and Honua, his in-laws, Abraham and Pamela Kapana, Jr., and um, uncle and aunt, John and Patty DeSoto, and if there's any other supporters of Dwayne, could you all please rise Let's give them all a warm welcome. I now yield the floor to Senator Roz Baker. Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, our next inductee is Soichi Sakamoto. And representing uh, Mr. Sakamoto today is William P Pratt, who's the past president of the Outrigger Duke Kahanamoku Foundation and co-creator of the Hawaiian Waterman Hall of Fame. So let's welcome uh, Mr. Pratt. Let me share a little bit about our inductee, Soichi Sakamoto. 
He was a swimming coach from Pu'unene, Maui, who took underprivileged children of plantation workers and turned them into Olympic champions. Not having any swimming pools in which to train, they trained in the irrigation ditches of the fields where their fathers worked. In 1937, Mr. Sakamoto created the three-year swim club, so named because he believed he could train the children to be Olympic champions for the 1940 games in Tokyo. His team won every swim meet they entered in Hawaii in 1938 and the national title in 1939. Unfortunately, the onset of World War II canceled the next two Olympic Games, but his student, Bill Smith, a 2013 Hawaii Waterman Hall of Famer, went on to win the gold in the Olympic Games in London in 1948. In later years, Mr. Sakamoto moved to Oahu to coach the University of Hawaii swim team and produce several more Olympic medal winners throughout the remainder of his career, retiring in 1966. He passed away in 1997 at the ripe old age of 91, but his tradition of swimming and rising above the norm continues to this day. And the swim, uh, uh, swimming pool in uh, central Maui is named in his honor as well. It's now my pleasure to yield the floor to Senator Riviere. Senator Riviere. Thank you. Also. Um, Representing uh, Joey Cabell, I get to talk about Joey Cabell, who's who's a legend, who uh, I know from uh, my youth, uh, growing up, and uh, as preceding me. And, and uh, Bill Pratt is also here representing uh, Joey Cabell. So if I could share a few words with uh, with everyone, um, I started surfing in the mid '70s at, at a time when Surfer Magazine was like this every other month magazine, and the subscription was five dollars a year. And so surfing, even in the '70s, was was you know, it was, it was booming, but it wasn't where it is, anywhere as near it is today. But even in the 70s, uh, I knew Joey Cabell's name as, as a guy who could surf fast. He was, he was quick. He was, he was there at the vanguard of the change of, of surfing from uh, longboards where people were more into glide, and, and now he was moving quicker. He created a surfboard called the White Ghost, which was designed for speed and was, was his hallmark of surfing. He was considered by many to be the fastest surfer alive. He was uh, very competitive, very successful in his competition. He appeared in, um, in numerous surf movies, and in 1963 was named to the Surf Guide magazine's first All-American surfing team. In 1985, Surfer Magazine named him one of the 25 most influential surfers who changed the sport of surfing. Um, he was also an accomplished skier and sailor, um, he was a natural selection for the Duke of Hanamoku surf team back in 1965. And uh, it was an exclusive team that traveled and, and, and surfed around the world and, and represented, um, you know, the, the great Hawaiian sport of surfing. So uh, with that, I um, am really pleased to be able to speak a few words to everybody here uh, to remember or to, um, to talk about and celebrate the uh, surfing life of Joey Cabell. Thanks for being here. Bill Pratt. Mahalo. Mr. Speaker, I yield the floor now to Senator Gabbard. Okay. Mr. <laughs> President, <laughs> sir. Thank you, Senator Riviere. I almost uh, had a good presentation, sorry. <laughs> Senator Gabbard. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Walter Guild, if you'd please stand. Walter Guild is a member of the renowned Kama'aina McFarland family whose tradition embraces a number of sports and who were founders of some of the oldest and longest running ocean races in the world is himself a renowned canoe paddling athlete. He is a member of the Outrigger Canoe Club team, eight-time world champions in the prestigious uh, Banco Moloka'i Ho'i race, with a total of 17 Moloka'i Ho'i crossings. Walter also secured champion status in the 1999 Poai Puni Kanaka Ikaika one-man Outrigger Canoe Race Series. Walter was instrumental in designing and revolutionizing the six-man canoe and the Hawaiian one-man canoe that are popular today. He co-founded Canoe Sports Hawaii, which established the Ultras King Kalakaua Regatta and the world-famous Kaibi Channel Relay Race from Molokai to Oahu in 1990. Walter has spent a lifetime paddling canoes and teaching others to do so has helped raise not just awareness, but also popularity of the sport. He has become a leader and innovator in canoe and kayak manufacturing and promotion. Please give him a, a big hand.
And I yield the floor back to Senator Shimabukuro. Senator Shimabukuro. Thank you, Mr. President. In concluding, we congratulate Soichi Sakamoto, Joey Cabell, Duane DeSoto, and Walter Guild on being named to the 2015 inductees into the Hawaii Waterman Hall of Fame and express our appreciation for their many contributions to water sports and to the state of Hawaii. Mahalo. Thank you. Do we have any further introductions? If not, we will call a short recess for the purpose of greeting our honored guests. Members of the Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come back to order, Madam Clerk? Governor's message number 731 and 732 transmit nominations to two boards for referral to committee. Governor's messages number 731 and 732 are referred to the Committee on Consumer Com the Committee on Commerce, Consumer Protection and Health. On pages 3 and 4, departmental communication numbers 289 to 297 transmit reports. File. On pages 4 through 17, standing committee report numbers 3055 to 3141 for adoption. Senator Green. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of standing committee reports numbers 3055 to 3142. Senator Sloan. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, any objections? If not, motion is carried. Referrals and re-referrals. Referrals and re-referrals are made in accordance with the Supplemental order of the day, which may be distributed to your offices later this afternoon. No further business, Mr. President. Are there any announcements? If not, oh, Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. I just wanted to thank all of our colleagues for diligently doing your Easter baskets. We had uh, a banner year of baskets, and uh, Institute for Human Services was very appreciative. They thanked us particularly because with all of the, the homeless sweeps that have been going, they have a lot more um, children and families um, in their shelter, and we're really appreciative of all the baskets. If uh, some of you missed uh, that, our Easter bunny this year was uh, Representative Scott Nishimoto. Makes a very fine bunny. Um, I also just wanted to remind everybody that uh, with Kick Butts Day, there will be some activities out uh, in the rotunda at uh, around 12, 1230, and we're, we have about 60 students uh, from various parts of all of our islands, so you may be seeing some of them in your office. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Further announcements, Senator Gabbard? Point of personal privilege. Please Mr. proceed. President. Although the senator is not here presently, I just wanted to wish happy birthday to Senator Thielen tomorrow. Uh, her staff has told me that she turns 29 tomorrow. <laughs> I have the toffee for her, the traditional toffee, but Senator Kim has agreed to uh, eat it for her <laughs> on her behalf. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. So wish her a happy birthday. So noted. Any further announcements? Senator Ruderman? Yes, I know it's not news to any of us here, but I'd like to... Are you personal uh, privilege? Uh, this Senator is a point of personal privilege. <laughs> Please Mr. proceed. President. I'd like to extend our congratulations to our colleague, Senator Kaheli, on the birth of his new daughter the other night. Thank you. Further announcements? If not, I briefly would like to wish everyone from Kauai a happy Prince Kuhil weekend and a happy Easter. Senator Green. Mr. President, I move the Senate stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. on Monday, March 28th. Senator Sloan. And God thank the watermen and waterwomen for their respect and appreciation of our Hawaiian waters. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. If there are no objections from the members, the Senate will stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. Monday.